I said, sir, I said, uh, by the way, I said, uh, there's something alongside of that buoy. I can't determine what it is. And so the officer said to me, uh, <clears throat> uh, you can't determine what it is? I said, no, sir. I said, uh, it's a little bit of a, a pip, but I, I, I don't know what it is. He said, ah, oh, you're seeing gremlins. I said, gremlins, my ass, I said. So I came out of my radar hut, which is above the bridge. I came down, and he was standing at, on the bridge, and I grabbed a hold of him. I was going to throw him over the side. I was so mad at him. Because I take my uh, my uh, my uh, job very seriously, I I don't like to have you know while you're at sea and that. And so uh, anyway, the captain stepped in at that moment. He said, "What the hell's going on?" I told him this this officer doesn't want to listen. He said, well, "Okay, then what is it?" So I told him what was going on. I said, "I've got this pip," and he he's ignoring me. I said. So he said, okay, you get back on your radar set and, uh, and uh, give me some more uh, <clears throat> information. So I went back to my, to my radar set and uh, I turned over to where I was at the time. And, and uh, sure enough, the buoy was there, but that pip was still there. So I told him about it. And so he said, okay, we're going to converge on that. So there was three ships. The... Uh, uh, our ship, which was the La Halois, the Strathadam, and the Thetford Mines. We, we called it the EG-25, Escort Group 25. So we converged in on this, on this uh, pip. Well, when we got within a thousand yards, the, the submarine decided that that, that uh, he better get uh, elsewhere. Or so he dove and uh, he went to the bottom. <clears throat> 